Hello everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDie.com and I'm here with this week's Teach Me Tuesdays episode 66 and it's the last Tuesday of January. Can you believe it? And also if you hear any um, noise, I don't know if you follow my, if you follow me on Facebook or some of my posts, um, it's been raining and a lot of wind or whatever. So my studio has a little leak, like a drip. <laughs> so I put a string on a nail to direct the drip so that it was going <laughs> into a cup. Otherwise, I think it was gonna drip into a plug-in and I don't think water and electricity go together, so <laughs> it looks horrible, but it was working. So Jeff's up on the roof. So if, if we hear any um, racket or if we hear any screams, it's Jeff. So hopefully all's good. But um, so anyways, I want to um, welcome you to this week's Teach Me Tuesdays. And I'm going to show a cute... Um, it could be a Valentine card, but like I say, we love all year long. So you can make heart cards all year. So it's a heart card. All right, so let me, hi Debbie, hi Sherry. Um, I'm gonna flip the, the phone around and, and we'll get started, all right? Okay, so hold on. Here we go, around and around. Flip the phone so we can see what's going on. All right. And make sure I'm in the group. Yes, yes. I see that crazy face of mine. All right, so there we go. Oh, we have a bunch of people. I didn't even notice. So hi, everybody. Hi, Stacy, Debbie, Sherry, Marcy. Thank you so much for joining me today. All right, so I'm going to be using the Lots of Heart Bundle. Oh, see, I just heard... I just heard some banging. Okay, so hopefully that you didn't hear it. Okay, so lots of heart. I think I don't mind banging. <laughs> I don't want to hear screaming. <laughs> okay, all right, so lots of heart and many hearts. And I hope that that was Jeff because I'm also waiting on the mailman. It, it's, it's crazy here, but it's three o'clock. So the show must go on. All right, hi, Crystal, hi, Lily. Um, Dana, we have a whole, whole, um, fun goose and Sharon. I don't think I've ever seen Sharon at, in the live. So I'm going to stop saying hi. It's like romper room, right? Okay. So lots of heart and the mini heart dies. So let me put those down. I, oh, there's the mailman. Hold on. No, stop floating. Stop floating. Okay, very, very good. All right, so now, Toby, stop, please. So now, now I'm back. All right, um, I'm going to refresh. Okay, there we go. All right, um, sorry about that. It, it's, uh, now nobody should be doing any kind of anything going on. All right, so I'm also going to be using the, the snailed, the snail mail DSP. I'm also going to be using that. All right, I'll stick that behind me. Well, I'm all out of breath because I'm all out of shape. All right, so I'm using the basic white thick as my card base. Then I have two pieces of the regular basic white. So one's gonna go on the inside of the card. So let's get that little thing stamped on there. I'm just going to use this cute little mouse pad as my, to give it just an extra little bit of um, gushiness. Hey, Jackie, my sweet sister. Um, so it just gives it a little, little bit of gushiness. And I thought it's, it's, it's prettier than the foam one. All right. So 
So I want to put this heart just here in the corner. And this is just going to go on the inside of my card. Now I'm not going to stamp anything on the inside because I can always add that later, but it leaves me open to um, being able to write a note or personalize it. So I'm just going to set that aside. And then, so this is going to be the outside. So I'm also going to stamp my big heart. All right, so I have my big heart as well. And I'm just going to use the real red. A real red with my arm right in the way, probably. This is a real red. And I love the buffalo check or whatever design this is. Beautiful. Let it peel away from there. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. I love it. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to my stamp and cut and emboss and die cut it out. And look, ta da! I did it already. All right, then I also want to stamp with the, and I don't need my red pad anymore. I'm going to put that away. I'm going to get my memento out. And. What greeting? This one says, my heart smiles just thinking about you. Hi, Ginny. So I think that's perfect. You can hear me blowing. Like <laughs> I always blow on my stamp in case there's any fuzz or anything on it. All right, so my heart smiles just thinking of you. So I'm sure you have a lot of people in your life that you could send this card to all year long not just for Valentine's. All right, let me close my pad up and then we can start assembling the card. Now, one thing I do want to explain to you, let me get that out of here. One thing I do want to go over with you, and this is in regards to the dies. So it has tons and tons of dies, but you have like these two hearts, this heart, and then a smaller one. So the smaller one, there's no question that it does the smaller heart. But when I first got the die out, I was like, okay, well, which, what's so different about these hearts? So then, you know, you play around and you figure it out. So this one also basically makes sense. So I just die cut it out a piece of the basic white thick with that one. But these two, you have one that has just a single cut on it right here. And that does this one. So this is the one, you know, that will um, layer it like that. But then you have one that cuts twice. So see, it has like two cutting dealy bobs. And that one is the one I use to cut the stamped because I want this to layer on here. So what that does is it actually, you know, when you do this, it gives you that, but then it also gives you that inner heart. So it really depends on what you want to do. So you could, if you didn't want to use this, you could simply, let me bring this just so you can see because it's, it's um, white. So you could put those back together, you know, like that. But I wanted to pop it, so I chose to go this way. But I just wanted to kind of bring that to your attention in regards to, you know, which is what and which one I used. All right, so there's that. And then also, this die has so many cute little thingies. Like, look how cute this is. And then there's a couple more hearts. There's a small one. It even has a cute little one that makes the, the, um, the dots. But what's even funner is it makes amazing confetti. Look at this. 
Look at all these little fun pieces that you can make. Like, look, at there's X's and O's and more hearts. It makes such fun, fun confetti. So if you are a person, um, Debbie, if you're watching, if, if you're like Debbie, <laughs> and you like to put confetti in cards so that when the person opens up the card, confetti falls all over the floor, then you want to um, make sure to make some extra little thingies. Um, and I think I just flipped, flipped a bug. I don't even know what it was, but <laughs> I just flipped it off there. And if it was something that's going to bite me, um, I hope it's not going to be poisonous. Okay. So let's start to put the card back, put the card together because I feel like I have lost control of my life with the knocking on the door and the banging of the ceiling. Okay, so I am going to uh, um, actually put this on with dimensionals because I want this to be popping up. So I'm gonna use dimensionals. So, and these are actually leftover dimensionals from my paper pumpkin. And I can tell because they're, they're more um, squishy. All right. So peel this off and flick all these little pieces everywhere. So yes, we've been having, we need the rain, right? Like it is such a drought here in Arizona. And then last year, I think it was, or the last time we got a real big rain, I thought, oh, I thought there was like a little spot on the ceiling that looked like it was wet. So Jeff messed with it, went up on the roof and did whatever. But then last night... I looked at it and I was like, ooh, that's wet again. So he didn't get it fixed or just, you know, things happen. And he was already in bed and I was like, oh, what happens if this drips into the, elect like the electrical plug-in? And he wasn't too worried about it. So I don't know, but I could not go to sleep. So I took a string cause I took stuff off the wall because it was going to get wet. And I put a string on one of the nails and I pulled it off to the side and taped it to catch the drip. So I was pretending I was a genius. But as the water dripped, it caught the string and then it made the water go this way. And then I put a cup. So it was going into the cup on the floor and it was avoiding the light switch or the plug in. <laughs> so, but now he's up on the roof. He went to Home Depot and got roof stuff. So. Oh, it is what it is. Okay, so now I'm assembling my little piece of DSP onto some basic black cardstock. So fun. And I'm also going to pop this up, but only with um, glue dots. I don't want this card to be too thick, but I do want it to have just a little bit of dimension. I want it to stick off. Um, the card just a bit so that's going to go here and then let's get our beautiful heart assembled so I am going to put dimensionals on this one and then that will go on to the black and actually let me put the glue on here because I'm going to go directly to the white so if there's dimensionals on the back it's going to be a little harder to put the adhesive so I'm going to glue this on here and I just pay attention to this here and this so then I know that my heart's going to be you know a nice border around the whole thing okay so now I can put my heart on there like so beautiful isn't that so gorgeous oh i just love it all right and then then i'm going to put this on here now you can pop it again if you're going to hand it out maybe i'll pop it so it really depends on what you're going to do with it if you're going to hand the card out you could pop it till you till it's you know, 10 feet tall. 
But if you're going to mail it, you know, just be careful how many dimensionals that you use. But I love to pop things. Hi, Debbie. Debbie. Oh, yes, MacGyver. I was calling myself Sheldon Cooper. I was like pretending I was genius. But yeah. Now, Debbie, I mentioned you earlier because this die makes some fun confetti. All right. So this is going to go here. Let me go like this so I can see my sides. And those look pretty even. Love it. Love it. And then I want to add some resin heart embellishments. Now, keep in mind that the resin heart embellishments are my ink incentive for the month of January. And that's almost up. January is almost over. So when you order 75 before tax and shipping in my store, and here's the little um, um, doodad. Here's the little um, hostess code and my, my blog address where you can where you can find that. When I send you your February thank you card, you will get a pack of um, your own resin hearts embellishments. And I want to add one to the card. So I'm just giving it a little push, picking it up with my little poker tool. And I'm just going to put it right there. Now look how cute that card is. Isn't that adorable? And super easy. Like no time at all. You have this cute little card and and, and, and it's so cool. All right, so I miss candy. All right, um, so I love it. And I have these things all over the place. They're all over the house. So there it is. Now here's one I did when I didn't use the reds and heart and I just used the stamp, but it's the same, same one. I just used the stamp instead, but super, super cute. Um, I do want to remind you, and, and this was announced yesterday. So we announced this yesterday. And so this is going to be the second over the border with Diane Marcy virtual class. I love the Buffalo print too. Oh my gosh, Crystal. It is so amazing. Um, so this is the Hey Birthday Chick bundle virtual class. So it's going to be through Zoom. We're also streaming it into a private Facebook group because some people are shy and they don't like to be on Zoom. And, and some people work or they're not able to do the Zoom. Hi, Jenny. And um, so by streaming it into Facebook, it tapes it and they're able to um, go back and, and work on their make and takes later if they didn't get them all done. But um, so anyway, so this is going to be February the 27th and it's um, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and that's Arizona time. So if you live in another state or if you're in Canada, your time will be different too. So if you are um, wanting to attend and, and you live in Canada, you are going to register with Marcy. And if you live in the States, you would register with me. So, um, and you can get more information from, from my blog. But what will happen is it's $70 in the States. And that includes um, your stamp set, your die, the priority postage with tracking, it includes the, um, we're doing six make and takes. Then it also includes the Zoom and the fun virtual class. So you definitely want to get registered. And we have a quick turnaround in regards to the sign up. You need to register and pay by February the 1st. So that's just a few days away. Only because um, these um, bundles will be going on sale February the 2nd. And we want to um, get them ordered and um, and then that way, you know, they're all the way ordered and we get them and then we'll cut and get your make and takes all ready. And then we will get it all packaged, all cute. And then we need to get it back to you, like get it to you so that you have it for the class on the 27th. So, um, so make sure you get registered um, right away. You can, um, like I said, holler at Marcy or holler at me if you have any questions, but we are so excited. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. And you've seen me, I've played a little bit um, with, with the bundle already. So, but um, I think that's it for today. Hi, Debbie. Um, hey, Francis. Um, 
But anyway, so I will um, cut this short so I can go out and see if Jeff needs any any help or whatever. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll watch for your comments, all right? All right, and then we'll see you um, tomorrow at 2 o'clock for my What You Making Wednesday. And that will be in my um, YouTube channel. And that's a live at 2 o'clock Arizona time. So, um, you're welcome, Stacy. I'm always glad to see you popping in and, and checking me out. And um, if you are watching the replay on uh, YouTube, please um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Give me a thumbs up. I think that's always um, a good thing when people give you a thumbs up. And um, better than thumbs down, but hey, they say any kind of interaction, whether it be good or bad, is good. So, okay, I will stop laughing and um, have a great night and I will um, see you tomorrow. All right, bye.